we do that, you'll see with a lot of different bridging systems here. From ship to pier, aid trucks are rolling into Gaza. Interlocking steel platforms roar with each passing wave. But after weeks of mishaps, the U.S. military's $230 million pier off the coast of Gaza is finally operational. But this aid isn't actually feeding anyone in Gaza, at least not yet. We're currently aboard the U.S. military floating pier off the Gaza coastline. Yesterday, the military says they were able to get about 800 pallets of aid off of this pier and into Gaza. But the problem now is the World Food Program, which is supposed to be picking up that aid. They say the security conditions just aren't there for them to be able to pick up that aid and distribute it to the people of Gaza. These are some of the now more than 6,000 pallets of humanitarian aid the U.S. military says are sitting in an open-air warehouse across from the pier. The World Food Program paused its operations at the pier more than two weeks ago, citing safety concerns. Across Gaza, humanitarian aid groups say Israeli military operations and a rise in lawlessness and looting are bringing their aid operations to a crawl. And it couldn't come at a worse time. As experts say, people in Gaza are once again at high risk of famine. The U.S. military invited CNN to the pier for the first time to show how it is ramping up the flow of aid to Gaza. And how it is getting this beleaguered project back on track after rough weather damaged and took the pier out of service for weeks. The sea is a difficult task, mistress. Uh, unpredictable. Each wave is different than the last. So dealing with that is a challenge, but we've adapted to that. And I think we're in a better position now than we were initially. About 40 truckloads are now arriving at the pier each day, still well short of the military's initial estimates of 90 to 150. A complex effort aid officials say would have been best spent pressuring Israel to get more aid in by land. This was never meant to be a long-term solution to the problem. This was meant to be one more way until we could find ways to open those gates up to get that pressure to open the gates. Access to the U.S. pier also provided a rare vantage of the destruction to Gaza's coast. It really is remarkable to see the Gaza coastline up close like this after nearly nine months of war. All we can see along this shoreline are buildings that are either completely flattened, completely destroyed, or those that are simply shells of themselves. It is also the daily backdrop for U.S. soldiers like Sergeant Ibrahim Barry, a practicing Muslim who started working on the pier operation in March during the holy Muslim month of Ramadan. Knowing that they're going through these harsh conditions and still fasting, still still holding on to their faith and getting the little bit that they can. That's what, it was another motiv motivation right there.